What's going on, Simi Valley? Realtor Ryan here. Get ready to unlock the door to a life less ordinary in this hidden gem of a neighborhood. This is Fountain Wood, Simi Valley, California. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan Mills. I'm a realtor with the M&M team at Real, and I've been helping buyers and sellers with their real estate needs for almost 20 years. If you need to get a hold of me, all of my contact information is in the description. Today's video is all about Fountainwood, and I will review the good and the bad of living in this unique, desirable neighborhood. So let's dig right in. First off, let's start with the location and vibe. Fountainwood is located just north of Alamo Street, crossing Tapo Canyon and Avenida Simi. And if you're not careful, you're gonna miss it. You could drive, just drive right by, because there's no grand sign there that says Fountainwood. So you might just go and not even notice it's there. <laughs> but when you do see it, and when most people drive through it, they can't believe they've missed this place. It's truly a hidden gem. They're all in awe of how well maintained this neighborhood is, even though it was built in the 1960s. So yes, we do have a lot of well-maintained yards. Everybody takes pride in ownership of their home. There are a few outliers, but it is a family-friendly neighborhood. It has a, a lot of kids. It's very quiet here. People seem to be getting along. Everybody waves at each other. They say hi. It is kind of a nice community. And I've known this neighborhood to throw on small street events including 4th of July stuff, barbecues. So it's, it's a great friendly feel in this neighborhood. Speaking of family and friendly, this neighborhood is right next door to an elementary school, Township Elementary, which gets pretty decent scores. And then catty corner to that is Valley View Middle School, which also gets pretty decent scores. And you'll see a lot of families walking their kids to school. It does get a little congested during morning school hours and in the afternoon when school is lets out. So it does get a little busy by the entrance on the north side of Fountainwood. Both my kids have attended Valley View Middle School and so far so good. No complaints. Next thing I want to talk about is the housing market. This neighborhood has a few different floor plans, a few, couple single stories and a couple two stories, ranging from about 1,800 square feet up to 2,600 and even further because a lot of people have added on to their homes here. You got a lot of three bedrooms and you got a lot of up to five bedrooms here. The current average price is about 900,000 to just over a million for these properties. And you get a lot with these homes. Number one, the yards are fairly large. These homes were built in 1968, and back then they were pretty giving with the land. Most of these lots average around 9,000 to 10,000 square feet. A lot of them have put in pools, probably 10% don't have pools. Uh, and there's there's a, a lot of homes in here. I'd say about 180 homes in here. The homes are what they call good bones because you can take a home and make it into something really terrific. For instance, there are two homes for sale in here. One's on Peoria selling for 875, but it needed a lot of work inside. And then there's another one on Divernon. And I went through that one and they have a lot of original um, They have a lot of original stuff in the house. <laughs> but what's unique about that is you can take these homes 
and make them into something really great, highly upgraded, and the homes can take it. And I've seen some really good ones. Oh, and just like most other neighborhoods, listings don't last very long in here. The average is about 20 days. So what else does this neighborhood offer? I wanna talk about family activities because there is a lot of things that are close by. You got the whole civic area, which has the library, city hall, the senior center, the Ventura County Courthouse, and you got the Simi Valley Police Department all right here a block away. And just beyond that is a park called Rancho Tapo Community Park, otherwise known as Lemon Park, which has a, an abundance of things to do. First off, there's the Veterans War Memorial there with a huge spectacular fountain with plaques and, and all sorts of donor information. It's very beautiful. If you haven't seen it, go check that out. The park has a lot of greenways it has a pavilion, it has two playgrounds, it has a bocce ball court, a softball diamond, more dining areas, it has a workout area, it has a basketball court, it has tennis courts, and it has pickleball courts. Actually, pickleball courts are kind of taking over the tennis court. And that park is just very friendly. Lots of activities going on there. A lot of events happen there. Oh, the splash pad. It has a splash pad. Between, I think it's Memorial Day to Labor Day. The splash pad is on, shooting waters everywhere, kids running around, going crazy in their bathing suits. It's a good time and it's free. Bring the kids out and have a good time. You have plenty of shopping across the street with Vons, Pavilions, Kohl's. You got a lot of restaurants. You got The Habit, you got O2 Sushi, you got a Flying Yoke, which is a great breakfast place. Check that one out. And you have Jamba Juice, Coffee Bean, The Habit, did I say that? Maybe I need to say it again. You have The Habit, you have Jersey Mike's, then you have Cold Stones, you have whatever this long thing is, and you have a brand new pizza place coming to the town that I've heard lots about. Actually, I've tried the one in Tio. It's Slice House. Slice House is coming, and it's right next to this neighborhood of Fountainwood. On the other side, of the neighborhood. Again, this is all within a block. You can definitely get there pretty quickly. Is the schools that I mentioned. There's also Santa Susana Baseball Diamonds are right there. You also have right next to that part of the same park, you have this park that has the baseball diamonds in it for Santa Susana Baseball and also this sand volleyball court that I've never seen anyone use, but it's there if you like to play beach volleyball. And then it has a playground in it, another playground, and plenty of grass area to run around. Right next to that, you have one of my favorite restaurants, El Patio. Show you the nightlife of that. And then right next to that, you have Chef Burger, great breakfast burritos, check that out. And then you have, around the corner, the fire department, and you have Value Middle School. Now, I said, within a block, you have all that city stuff, including the police department. And on the other side, within a block, you have the fire department. So you're well protected here in Fountainwood. On the next block, just further down from the police station, is the Regal Simi Valley Civic Center. Obviously you have Regal, which is a pretty decent movie theater. They have Cheeto popcorn and reclining chairs. You gotta go do that. Every Friday, they have a farmer's market there. A lot of people bring in food, fresh fish, fresh fruit, fresh tamales, lots of stuff, craft stuff. They make their own things too there. The farmer's market is there at the Regal Simi Valley Civic Center on Fridays from 11 to three. We've tried their tamales that are really good, bread, which was really good, and also the fresh seafood which is really, really good. And in that same mall, you got a whole bunch of restaurants, Baja Fresh, Greek, East Coast Pizza, another pizza. You got Spanx, you got FedEx, you got Wingstop. They were talking about an Amazon Fresh coming in there. Now that's gone, but maybe another grocery store might be interested in going into that area. It's also a nice area that sometimes they have singing events there, right there in the courtyard where the big fountain is. Oh, there's yogurt in there too. It's yogurt land. It's funny because we just call it yogurt. Let's go get yogurt and we know what we're talking about. But it's Yogurt Land. And sometimes they have ice cream there at Yogurt Land. A few other things I forgot. TGI Fridays is in there. 
good restaurant. A boba place is in there. Do you like boba? Okay, I glanced over a spot. I kind of briefly talked about one negative about the neighborhood, which was the traffic that happens in the morning and then in the afternoon when kids and families are walking their kids to the schools that are right here. Literally right next door to the neighborhood. So it does get a little congested. It only takes maybe about a half an hour in the morning and a half an hour in the afternoon when school begins and lets out. That's about it. Then after that, it's very quiet. So that was one negative. Another small negative, and this is just my opinion, there's electric power line that abut the neighborhood going down Tapo Canyon coming from the hills and then they string some more in the beginning areas, just on the, on the west half of Fountainwood, there's a string of power lines. And then on the east half, there's none. So you got some homes that have those power lines in their backyard and some that don't. You might not like that, maybe you don't care, but I see that as a small negative for this neighborhood. And one more small little negative. I talked about the traffic. I talked about the power lines. I mentioned briefly that Tapo Canyon abuts this neighborhood. That's where the power lines are and also Tapo Canyon itself is a very busy road. And it's a main road in Simi Valley. It's an on-ramp onto the freeway and an off-ramp. That road can get fairly loud during the day, but then just like the rest of Simi Valley, at around nine o'clock, it's all quiet again. So that's just a small, a, a little small one um, that that road is a little, little busy. Other than that, I love this neighborhood. It's a great location. You're within this little circle of all the good stuff, schools, restaurants, uh, fire station, the civic center, police station, two parks, lots of shopping, lots of restaurants. It is a great, quiet, family-friendly neighborhood. Anyway, that's, that's Fountainwood. So what did you think? Did I miss anything? What features do you like about Fountainwood? What features do you not like about Fountainwood? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's it. I plan on making a lot more of these kinds of videos, community videos. So please let me know if you think this kind of video would be a fit for your neighborhood. I would love to come out and check things out, talk about it, show it off. Also, please give me a, a like and a subscribe. That'll really help out my channel and help get my word out and my information where I can help more people. If you want some more information on Simi Valley, make sure to check out my other videos, top five reasons to move to Simi Valley and the top five reasons not to move to Simi Valley. And also the history of Simi Valley. Check out those videos. Until next time, I'm Realtor Ryan. Thanks for watching. including a new <laughs> That's good for me cuz I like the ice cream better than you. I keep pointing. Hi. It's it's right there. Can you see? Just give it a small little like, a little click. <laughs>